somehow ended up doing this project on distance aware um, which is all about promoting ongoing social distancing and important to note and very different from a lot of the other projects we've spoken about is this wasn't my original Bevelin Exemplar project. This is a project that has been born out of the pandemic, been supported by my Bevan mentor Baroness Finley and it's been a joint endeavour supported by so many amazing organisations that without whom it just wouldn't have been possible. Um, it started off right back in June um, where the two of us were having a conversation about my concerns as someone who was shielding coming or starting to go back out and do things when all of the all of the normal measures were coming to an end and the, the original lockdown restrictions were easing and we wrote this article which got published and fast-tracked in the BMJ around um, concerns with de-escalating shielding as lockdown was eased and within it we proposed this idea of some kind of safer at two meters badge or something that people could use to self-identify as wanting others to maintain social social space and keep their distance. We had an incredible response to this. I think within three days I'd had well in excess of 250, 300 messages directly to my Twitter asking if we were going to actually produce something. Um, and we joined forces with Callum Sample, or Professor Callum Sample, um, who had been speaking about this idea on BBC Breakfast and did a survey together which we shared on Google. Um, it was an eight question um, Google poll. It ran for 10 days and it explored people's opinions around this whole concept of self-identifying with a badge or similar. And it had such a positive response. It was unbelievable. We had over 1,750 responses in 10 days. And I don't have that many friends, so they're definitely not all my friends. Um, it went all over the country and we promoted it and shared it solely through social media. We collaborated with all of these different um, amazing charities to get their input and their ideas on how to take something like this forward for their patient groups and for the people that within society that they represent. And what started off as just these people on this slide has now grown to be well in excess of 150 different organisations. And over the space of a week, we had what we're, we kind of refer to as the evolution of what was a solution. Um, and a week to the day from publishing our first article, we published, published a second one, which was to come up with some kind of repeated symbolism that could be used for people to identify as wanting others to maintain distance. It needed to be something that had no text, it needed to be bright and easily visible. And there needed to be a couple of different colour options available to make it maximally accessible to all disability and ability groups. It needed to fit into things like a professional space and it needed to be consistently recognisable. There was also an overwhelming sense of the need for inclusion, that it shouldn't be just for people who had been shielding. Social distancing is everybody's problem and everybody's responsibility. And everybody's right. Everyone has the right to be respected and have others keep their distance. So it needed to be inclusive and engage everybody. We presented the concept to Welsh Government on the 30th of June, so about 10 days after we initially had our concept, and it was endorsed two days later by the Welsh or by the First Minister and the Health Minister as an NHS Wales initiative endorsed and supported by Welsh Government and supported by the Bevan Commission. These were our symbols and our five different colours and all of them with the NHS Wales um, logos developed with the RNIB, with members of the Jewish community and with all of our amazing charity partners to make sure that we could make it as inclusive as possible. At the end of July, um, we were fortunate enough that the initiative was also endorsed by Her Majesty's Government um, and the Department of Health and Social Care. Um, Minister Gething has been unbelievably supportive and I cannot express how grateful we are to Welsh Government for their engagement and their support with this. Every time I turn on the TV I see Minister Gething wearing a different coloured distance wear badge and it is an absolute pleasure. Um, it makes me very proud um, and it makes me very proud to see an initiative that has come from Wales be adopted in other places. 
we've joined up with so many amazing charities to try and make it as accessible as possible to the public. So where Welsh Government initially put in, or we actually had one of our contributors um, of um, NHS Wales PPE supplied 100 or 130,000 badges initially. Welsh Government then supported that with a further 300,000 badges and 40,000 lanyards following an overwhelming support when the scheme launched. Um, we joined with loads of different charities, British manufacturers, which we're very proud of. There's an amazing lanyard manufacturer who, who have made lanyards available on their website in all of the different colours. And we have a number of different charities that have made badges available through their organisations as well. One of our partner charities I know to date has had over 15,000 individual requests for badges and distributed them as such. And the picture on the left is actually from our Distance Aware page, whereas, which has become the home of Distance Aware, which sits very proudly on the Bevan Commission website. And I'm very proud and I'm very grateful that it sits there. Um, and the team were incredibly supportive in pulling it together. There's been loads of social media, um, huge amount of interest, huge amount of support. So we've gone from uh, Minister Gething's yellow distance wear badge to the one that he's been matching with his pink tie lately. Um, and Kidney Care UK have had their badges out. We've had the NHS Wales ones out. We've had a couple of celebrity tweets and Twitter even made us our own emoji. So if you go on Twitter and you tweet hashtag distance aware, it will automatic, automatically add the shield shape to the end of your hashtag. In terms of what next for this, it's a project that sits very closely to my heart and I think it will be something that I will remain proud of for the rest of my career. We hope that its applications will extend beyond the pandemic. There's a huge number of people who had social anxiety before the pandemic and who struggled to engage. And we hope that by having something like this where people and organisations can identify themselves as being distance aware. It will give people a positive encouragement to be able to engage in their societies. Um, from a purely pandemic side of things, um, it's due to be launched in Northern Ireland maybe in the next couple of weeks, um, following some very constructive conversations with um, the government in Stormont last week. And this project, I will say, has been it's come off the cuff, it had no planning, and there are so many people that I could never fit them on one slide to say thank you. But my biggest thank you of all goes to my partner in crime in all of this, which is Baroness Finley. She has been incredible. I met her through the Bevan Commission as my mentor. I will end this project with her as a lifelong friend. And honestly, if I got nothing else out of becoming a Bevan exemplar, having met her is all I could ever have asked for. The Bevan Commission have been fantastically supportive. Hannah has been incredible. Rupert and Kelsey have been, did all of the website when that needed to be done. I know Kelsey's gone now, but she was amazing when she was there. And Beck and the team in Kumtaf have also been incredibly supportive. They did most of the comms um, and the sharing with media. Welsh Government, if they hadn't put a bit of trust in us, it probably wouldn't have gotten off the ground. They they put some trust in and I like to think we've paid back um, with a little bit extra for them. And none of it would have been possible without all of the amazing charities and individuals who've supported the initiative. It, it has been a collaborative effort. And while I think a lot of the accolades go to me around it, I think it's a much wider team that really does need recognition in this because I'm an individual stuck in my flat. Nothing could happen if it was just me. So there's a much wide, there's a much wider community involved. And without any one of those jigsaw pieces, it wouldn't have happened. Thank you.